Hello friends, this is Dr. Srinivas Jekka. I am consultant in pediatrics, pulmonology and allergy at Ankura Hospitals, Hyderabad. So let us now discuss as the symptoms of COVID in children. COVID in children has a wide spectrum. It can be asymptomatic. In other words, there are no symptoms at all. Or the disease can be mild, moderate or severe. Let us first discuss the symptoms of mild illness. What happens in mild illness? Mild illness, after the virus enters your body, it multiplies in your blood and then causes general symptoms like fever, headache, body pains, cold, cough, sore throat, stomach pain, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, decreased intake of food, Older children might complain loss of smell or taste. All these are symptoms of mild illness. Majority of patients get better in a week or so. Let us now discuss moderate COVID illness. As we discussed earlier, majority of the patients get better with a mild illness. But unfortunately, in some patients, the infection might spread to the lungs and that can cause infection of the lungs or pneumonia. Parents can di diagnose this problem when they see that their child is breathing fast and when they check their oxygen levels, they may be borderline low. So normally we expect the oxygen levels to be above 95%. In moderate disease, you might see that the oxygen levels are between 90 to 94. How do parents know that the child is breathing fast? The breathing rate of a child depends on the age of the child. For example, in a newborn, a respiratory rate of up to 60 may be acceptable. Between one month to one year, up to 50. In preschool children, between one to five years, a breathing rate of 40 is acceptable. And above five years, a breathing rate of maximum 30 is acceptable. So the signs of moderate disease are fast breathing and borderline low oxygen levels. Let us now discuss the symptoms of severe COVID illness. Unfortunately, in a small minority of patients, there can be severe COVID disease. So what happens in severe COVID disease is your immune system of the body reacts in an unusual way or an exaggerated fashion and the immune system makes a lot of chemicals called cytokines. The cytokines are released into the bloodstream in what is called a cytokine storm. As a result, the patient becomes very sick and the symptoms can include worsening of breathlessness. So in addition to fast breathing, you might notice that the child has severe chest retractions or in drawings of the chest. The oxygen levels might go down below 90%. The child might become drowsy or lethargic. There might be some seizures or fits as well. The blood pressure may go down. As a result, the hands and feet can become cold. If there is a what we call shock, there can be clotting problems. And in severe cases, there can be failure of multiple organs that can ultimately result in death. For authentic health information, please subscribe to Health9.